guys, Everything Tech Pro here. Today in this video, I have certain new information about what we're gonna see on the WWDC 2016 event. And lots of expectations and all what we're gonna see. So uh, let's get started up right now. So the WWDC 2016 is just 24 away, hours away. And I can't really wait to know what Apple's plan is and what it's gonna launch and what are the new features and devices gonna be come up, coming up. But according to many sources, it says that the WWDC 2016 mainly will focus on MacBook Pro 2016 update and the uh, newer iOS, which is going to be called as the iOS 10, and with uh, all new features. And we're going to know what is the future of the OS X. So currently we're having the, the, uh, the OS X 10.11 El Capitan. Now we're going to see an update to it, the new OS X, OS X 10.12 I don't know what it's gonna be called as but you know many people say that it's gonna be called as the Mac OS so uh, let's get started away by let's uh, seeing the first device which is gonna come up this year the first device that you're gonna see is the MacBook Pro so MacBook Pro has been there in the market for so long and Apple didn't actually update its MacBook Pro since two years or something so it's the right time for the Apple to you know bring up the new MacBook Pro with new features. So uh, let's look at certain images, you know, and certain leaks which you know stay, uh, just say that how the uh, new MacBook Pro is gonna <clears throat> look like. So now in this image, you can see a pile of three laptops, the MacBooks. The one on the top is the MacBook Air, and the bottom two are the MacBook Pros. The one on the middle is the MacBook Pro without Retina display and the one on the bottom is the MacBook Pro with the Retina display. So uh, the uh, MacBook Air comes in the 11 inch and 13 inch model and the MacBook Pro comes in the 11 inch, sorry, the 13 inch and the 15 inch versions with the Retina display and without the Retina display. And recently before a couple of years, you know, we heard from Apple about the new MacBook, you know. It was just an update cycle of the older version of the MacBook which uh, handled the OS Leopard and the Snow Leopard. It's a very old device and a very, very good device. So Apple brought in the new MacBook and in, in this year 2016, Apple gave another update to this MacBook uh, device with uh, a ba larger battery with a better GPU performance and the ba a better uh, processing speed with a good uh, gigahertz speed. So, uh, <clears throat> so now uh, we're gonna see in the third image is this is how you know is the basic layout of the MacBook Pro. You know, the one on the left is a rumor that th this is going to be the keyboard design of the uh, newer version of the MacBook Pro, and the one on the right is the current keyboard which is being currently used in the MacBook Pros and the MacBook Airs, mostly in the MacBook Airs. So, the one thing which you notice is that in this MacBook Pro 2016 model, you don't have the top key bar, the F1, F2, and the function keys and uh, the escape brightness all those function keys are gone it just has the basic keyboard starting from the numeric then the alpha num and, and the alphabet and then symbols so basically the top bar is gone instead you know many people are saying that an, a new oled display is coming which is going to be replaced by the function keys and you know we don't know what we can see uh, and which type of model we can see uh, in, in this one so uh, next up you can see is the side image of the MacBook Pro, you know, uh, it clearly, you know, uh, states that there, there won't be any uh, <clears throat> USB, uh, normal USB type uh, ports, instead we're gonna uh, see the USB-C type of ports and there are gonna be four of them and, you know, uh, this is released by Cult of Mac and we don't know uh, what would be the functionality uh, and will these four USB-C type slots will be also the charging uh, medium for the newer MacBook or Apple is going to be attached to the MagSafe 2 uh, the MagSafe 2 charger which is currently coming with the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air you know but if it was me you know I would say please Apple don't remove the MagSafe 2 um, power charger which is currently there I love it and you know USB-C type will be nice but you know if you really want going to replace it with the USB-C type charger my request is Apple, please give us something big so that, you know, if we are losing something, so we are getting a, a new um, so sort of things and people should, you know, feel that, okay, we have lost the MagSafe too, that's okay, but we are getting certain new advantages. So just as I was making this video, you know, I got an update and from the news and it states that the new MacBook Pros 
design or what it's going to look like is leaked you know i didn't know what it is but i went and checked out and you know there are a couple of images you know which <clears throat> Uh, you know, looks like the MacBook Pro 2016 model, and you know that the design looks fantastic. The top uh, function keys are not there. It has the OLED display over there, and, and it's it's looking very very gorgeous and beautiful. So uh, now let's take a look at the display. Oh, sorry, the MacBook Pro 2016 version. How it's gonna look like? I have certain five to six images to uh, actually uh, say uh, to prove uh, to prove that whatever we have been thinking are the design of the newer MacBook is true or not. So now let's look at the pictures. So now the image which you are seeing is a leaked image of the newer MacBook Pro. So, but you can notice two things from this one is that uh, the keyboard looks a bit different. The top, you know, uh, touch panel or the OLED touch panel has been included in sort of the function keys and, you know, <clears throat> you, but you can see one more thing is that the mouse is bigger. The, tra the, the not the mouse, the trackpad is bigger, and uh, it's still using the, that plastic wrench, which was rumored to be you know gone, and it it won't be there. So now the second image shows this side, and uh, this this image actually shows there'll be two USB-C type uh, ports, and we'll be having the speaker on the side, and the keyboard looks a lot slimmer, and the top uh, OLED touch bar, and along with the uh, normal plastic uh, wrench also and this could be you know the macbook and this looks a, a bit better and okay so the next one which you're seeing is the real deal you know this image showing that you can see the the top touch bar it shows the wi-fi notifications it has the battery shows the date monday 4 41 a.m and the name martin and you know it just looks like a notification top bar and it looks really beautiful and you know the keyboard is also different and this also uh, you know confirms that uh, you may be having a keyboard which is still glowing apple may not remove that and so this is good so let's go to the next image now the next image you can see is also another evidence it's just a long shot of the newer macbook pro uh, this is 13 inch macbook pro with an oled display and uh, on the right you can see the iphone 7 plus <coughs> you know uh, and both two leaks in just a single image so it's looking pretty much good you know and apple has actually you know in this update is uh reduced the gap between the trackpad and the keyboard and the top oled bar also suggests that you know this might be true but let's see you know we don't we don't actually uh know until apple releases it because apple you know tries a lot of prototypes of its macbook you know it makes four or five models of the macbook or any device and finally you know selects one according to the people's you know people what people say it it uh, intentionally leaks its design to know what people think about uh, their uh, the devices and finally finalizes one so this next image you know shows that the top oled bar is not constant you can change it according to your application you can play music using spotify and you can check on the updates of <clears throat> what's going on and you know this is another closed look of the newer macbook and but you know all in all these you know i could conclude that whatever we have been seeing is 90 percent right that is we're going to be having four usb c type slots instead of the usb slot and the mac safe 2 charging is gone it's going to gone for good instead you'll be seeing the usb c type charging in present in the newer macbook and uh, we have the top OLED, but you know there have been a lot of leaks saying that the top uh, wrench which is connecting the uh, main uh, keyboard set and the display will be metal but you know these images you know clearly say that you know uh, the the, re the update of these pl plastic material won't be there and apple will continue to use its plastic wrench in this macbook also so maybe we the, to the next update we may see maybe the next 2017 version of the macbook pro we may see that change or it may be just a battery or the internal change which is coming on so uh next up we're gonna see about the next thing which is gonna come up in the wwdc 2016 and that is the <clears throat> uh, os x or the mac os so the os x the, the later version of the os x many people say to be called as the mac os instead of naming it the uh, the previous way like in the current version is called as the el capitan and the other versions are uh, Snow Leopard, Leopard, and uh, <clears throat> like that. So instead, now Mac is going to name its newer OS as Mac OS instead of 
the uh, by naming it. We know very little about the uh, newer uh, version of the OS X, so, but you know people have been mainly focusing on only one thing, and you know many people are uh, actually saying that uh, Siri is actually coming <coughs> to the uh, OS X. You know I don't know whether to believe it or not, but I don't have much on the OS X update. But you know, I have certain uh, images, you know, which uh, actually, you know, uh, which actually, you know, uh, you can say uh, guarantee, not guarantees, but which uh, has, you know, uh, keeps the possibility of uh, actually having Siri on our uh, on the Mac. And personally, if you ask me, having Siri on a Mac will be really, really excellent. And I would, I would actually love to see Siri in uh, my personal Mac and doing certain tasks uh, for me in the new MacBook. So the image which you are seeing right now, you know, uh, shows uh, the, the, uh, the update of the OS X. This is the current OS X El Capitan running on the MacBook. So the next update which we will be seeing is Siri, as you can see on the top corner, that, uh, that actually, you know, says that Siri can be there with a the microphone symbol highlighted and it's written, what can I help you with? And this, you know, maybe Siri coming to Mac and this leak is from 9to5Mac. They generally are quite good in their updates. You can also see that uh, there are certain font changes in the top bar, like the Wi-Fi symbol is changed and the volume symbol has also changed a bit and uh, the battery symbol is quite familiar but it's changed. So, and also the spotlight search symbol is a bit different. I don't know whether you can see or not, but there are certain changes. The main thing which I see in this image change is that the Wi-Fi the symbol is, you know, the uh, symbol is uh, quite thinner. So next, let's see the next image. So in this image, this does not confirm that Siri is there, but you know, this is a prototype which, uh, <clears throat> which uh, actually says that Touch ID is also there in the newer version of the MacBook. So uh, we may see uh, the MacBook Pro with Touch ID also. And you know, uh, there are two things in which Apple is going to implement the uh, the Touch ID system in their MacBooks. So first of all, you know, the same thing like you can see, the Touch ID is going to be there in the newer version of the MacBook Pro. But the image, you know, clearly says that it's not a MacBook Pro because you have the function keys on the top. So this is not the newer version of the MacBook Pro. But Apple has been recently granted a patent that you can unlock your MacBook using the Touch ID of your iPhone. So this might be a prototype of that. Maybe we can unlock the MacBook using the Touch ID on our mobile phones, on, on our iPhones. So this is the first prototype. The second prototype is that the newer MacBook Pro may have a, a, a Touch ID inbuilt onto it and it will be very interesting and very, very good if we uh, see the Touch ID in the newer version of the MacBook Pro. I, I would personally love to see it because Touch ID, you know, is very, very reliable and it's keeping my iPhone very secure. Nobody's able to access without my permission because I have enabled my Touch ID in my iPhone 5S and I really love it. Even though it's first generation Touch ID in the 5S, it would be much better if I'm using the second generation Touch ID in the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus, which is very fast. But still, it's okay. It's a security medium and it's quite nice. So uh, that's it for uh, the uh, OS X part of it. So uh, next up, uh, we're going to have the <clears throat> The iOS, we're gonna see what iOS is gonna be. So people are expecting great things from Apple regarding the uh, newer iOS. So it's gonna be called as the iOS 10 as usual. And uh, there are many leaks and rumors, you know, which, which say that they're gonna have a complete design change of the newer iOS. You know, it's, it's really clear that Apple changes the design of its, I, its OS iOS every uh, three cycles. So the iOS 7, iOS 8, and the iOS 9 look almost the same, just certain features added on. Similarly, the iOS 654 looked almost the same, icon same, just the features were added on. And now, this is beyond three cycle and it's the fourth cycle, so Apple will definitely be bringing in a newer design to its iOS 10. And uh, so before we see what we're gonna have, I'll say, I'll say what people want. People want, first, the night shift is good, but it's not that good because people using their phone in the night still find their display to be, you know, covering their eyes, it's not that good, so they want a replacement for that. Second, people really don't like the custom apps on your iPhone, and 
there is no way you can remove these apps. So Apple needs to bring in a new way to you know either hide those things or you know delete these things. So that's the second request from the people. Third, what people are requesting is that to add new functionality to the 3D Touch currently existing in the iPhone 6s and the iPhone 6s Plus. So these are the main three things which people are asking Apple to do in its latest version of iOS. So uh, let's see uh, what we're gonna uh, see in the iOS and let's see what the pictures say about the latest version of the iOS. So when it comes to the iOS 10, mainly people think, is my device supported? Because people, you know, maybe buying the iPhone 7, but there are many people who don't upgrade their phones. People who bought iPhone 6s and the 6s Plus may be, you know, thinking to hold on and maybe uh, buying the next version, or which is going to be called as the iPhone 7s or the, the iPhone 8. So people waiting for that might be asking, is my device really supported for the uh, newer version of the iOS, iOS 10? So I have an answer to that. Now let's take a look at that. So this photo basically, you know, uh, <clears throat> says which device will be supporting the iOS and which will not. You can clearly see that almost all the new devices are supporting the, uh, I won't say almost, I would say every new device is supporting the iOS 10, it includes the iPhone 6 Plus, 6, 6S Plus, and uh, the 6S, and the iPhone 5S, 5, 5C, and all. So uh, you don't have the 6S and 6S Plus right here, but that's pretty much sure that these two devices are going to support the iOS 10 because they are the latest ones. So unfortunately for the iPhone 4S users, I'm really sorry, but your device won't be supporting the iOS 10. So bye-bye, you're going to stay with the, uh, the, uh, the iOS 9.3.2 if it is released or you're going to be staying on the 9.3.1. iPad mini, iPad mini 3, 2 and iPad mini, all three of them will be supporting the uh, the iOS 10 and no doubt iPad Pro the smaller one and the bigger one will definitely be supporting the iOS 10 iPad Air 2 and the iPad Air are supporting the iOS 10 iPad 4G and the iPad 3G are supporting the iOS 10 so it's good for me because I'm having an iPad 3 but you don't know maybe Apple may you know remove uh, uh, the uh, supportability for the iPad 3 because I, I see some basic uh, 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 background behind Apple doing this. You know, Apple is now not going to release the update for the iPhone 4S, which is a 16-pin connected device. Then the iPad 2 which is also a 16-pin charger device. But the iPad 3 is also a 16-pin charging device. So there might be a chance that the iPad 3 might not support, but the iPad 4 and above are having the lightning connector charging so definitely it's going to be there and the iPod 5G, iPod 5G Touch is definitely supporting the newer iOS, iOS 10. So first leak is that we're going to be having a dark mode. So really people are you know uh, really want a dark mode instead of enabling night shift like that you know dark mode really you know helps you by viewing your phone in dark areas without actually harming your eyes. So that's the first uh, leak which says that iOS maybe with a dark mode. The second image which you are seeing now is how dark mode will, will look on various applications. So the one on the left is the calendar in dark mode which looks very good with uh, a premium color and all and the one on the middle is the message app with the dark mode in the iOS 10 uh, or you could say iMessage and the one on the right is the music app how it will look in the dark mode. And all three of these apps look really good. But these are just the prototype. This is not the exact, you know, iOS 10, uh, <clears throat> iOS 10 design. Because you can see the battery, the time, and the, you know, uh, cellular signal, Wi-Fi, all of them look almost alike. So it's just a prototype of how it may look. So second thing which you're going to be seeing is a newer functionality of 3D Touch. So Apple has been bringing in the 3D Touch since their iPhone 6s and the 6s Plus and it has been almost a year but Apple has been adding just a few new features in their 3D Touch compatibility in their devices like uh, previously there was no 3D Touch for the Wi-Fi like you can 3D Touch the Wi-Fi and select the Wi-Fi you want you can view messages and all that were there but I think you know Apple will take one step ahead on thinking 
what to do with their uh, newer uh, newer features adding on to the iOS 10 so that the 3D touch is more more and more utilized because people generally don't use the 3D uh, touch much more because the feature of it is not expanded to all the applications. So next up, uh, we have that we can delete the you know uh, system built-in apps or we can hide them at least you know this is one area you know where if uh, if it do, if apple does it people are going to be really happy with them and uh, we may be seeing uh, many people upgrading uh, their oss from ios 9 to ios 10 because you know there are people who think that if ios 10 will look exactly like the ios 9.3 it's waste to upgrade and use the data so people might not be upgrading if it looks the same if these features are there people may definitely upgrade their iOS in their mobile phones. So next up is, you know, uh, a 3D touch toggle button will also be there, many people are saying, and this is the prototype of it, the bottom flashlight, battery, calculator, and the timer and all. So you can have a 3D touch toggle button as well in the uh, newer iPhone 7 and the series. Also, it will be supported in the iPhone 6s and the 6s Plus. So uh, <clears throat> that's it, guys, for the... Uh, iOS part of it. So uh, that's it, guys, for today. I have I told you whatever update I'm having right now, and uh, we we might be seeing some more updates when it inches closer than that. And I will be you know uh, lively covering whatever is going on at WWDC 2016. As we know, new things. I will be updating you with the newer videos. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share this video so that it reaches people and you know. Many, many people get the idea about what's going to be there and if you like this video and want to see more of them please subscribe also so that uh, whenever i launch a video you get the update immediately and you can watch it and uh, <clears throat> so if any updates comes up i'll definitely post a video keep checking regularly because you know as we close insert to the uh, wwdc 2016 many of the leaks and rumors may come out and or may not come out if it does not come out i'll definitely let you know when it's officially announced by the apple so so you can actually uh, <clears throat> see other videos in my channel which are over here and over here so you can click the links and you can uh, watch the videos which are there right here so uh, that's it guys for today i'll see you up in the next video until that until the next time it's peace out